All right, guys, we're going to talk about what it means to attack on. Um, some folks call it a green dog or a dog blitz where you're adding in a, a linebacker after uh, after it's determined that the guy he's covering is not releasing on a route. Um, I call it attacking on because I've heard green dog used a couple different ways. So just to come up with a universal term, I, I, I use something else. Um, the Packers concept right here is mesh. So we get, you know, the – excuse me, he's actually going to run it as a point here. And then he's coming underneath. Right, so if we just watch this play through for a second, we see the mesh concept open up in the middle. Devontae Adams comes wide open because he's getting the pick and man, and, and we can go for hours on mesh. Not really the point of why we're pulling this up. What we're pulling up here is to see what exactly are these two linebackers doing, okay? The first thing you see is clear that this guy is blitzing, right? We know he's running through the A-gap. That's his goal. So we look at the other linebacker for a second, and we see him right at the snap. He jumps over to cover the back. Right now, as he jumps over to cover back, what happens is he is now taking the back and man coverage. OK, when he takes the back and man coverage and now sees that the back is staying in, he tacks on. OK, that's what tacking on means in its simplest form. Right. It just means that the guy you were covering in man is not releasing. So you have to go. However, there's a couple specific rules that we have to keep in mind for, for a player who's tacking on. Um, and it really blows down to the fact that even though he's adding in on the blitz, he is still responsible for that player. So let's say that the running back here came up, chipped, and then released. That would still be this guy's man. So really the, the, the one rule he, he, he has to really keep in mind is that if you are going to tack on, you must tack on through the guy you are covering, right? You have to make sure you run through him in order to get to the quarterback. What you're looking to do is occupy a blocker more so than actually get to the quarterback, right? Right now as an offense, you're thinking if the – linebacker has the running back in man coverage we have five rushers right and they've got five in the protection right because we're adding in that linebacker that's our fifth guy right sorry i should have put a dot on him right we got five five guys in the rush and we got five guys in protection okay if they are able to keep the back in it means the defense no longer has one-on-one -on -one matchups all the way across the board and when they run out of number uh, one-on-one -on -one matchups it means they're not as likely to get home to the quarterbacks what they want is Okay, we don't want to just be able to leave the back end. Let's tack this guy on so he has to occupy, ideally, the guy he's covering, but if not, someone else. And that forces a lot of one-on-one -on -one matchups all the way across the board for, for the Packers, right? If we look at it from the end zone view here, same idea, right? So we know this is the blitzer going to the A-gap, and then we see the linebacker is going to skip across and cover the back. There's the blitz. There's the pickup. Now, what a lot of teams are doing right now is they are blitzing the back, meaning they know the man side of the protection is to the side of the back, and the back is going to read from a gap to outside blitzer, right? He's going to take an inside blitzer, then an outside blitzer, which means we are going to slide, slide, slide to the back side. In other films where we look at protection, we'll see that's the base protection for, for, for most passing downs, um, right? Which is exactly what we get, the center. Guard and tackle all slide this way. He doesn't have a B-gap threat, so he stunts the A or, or sticks his hand in A, sticks his nose in A, right? This guy is not concerned about the blitzer. He knows it's not his. This was number one, meaning first man off the center. This was number two, second man off the center. So they are man, man, and they know that the blitzer is the running backs, which means the linebackers, if the defense is going to try to blitz the back, which is a very common thing, you have to blitz towards the running back side to blitz the man side of the protection, he has got to jump across. So you can see even at the snap, his eyes are already across, right? You look at his eyes. He's already on the back, and now he sees he stays on, and so he tacks on. The Packers line actually does a really good job of the slide side kicking this back to there. That's actually a fairly advanced thing to do. That, that's, that's a really good pickup on a, on a late tack on. Um, that's pretty good. Um, that's what tacking on means. Again, some teams call it a green dog um, or just a dog blitz or something with the linebackers coming late. Um, and and uh, yeah, I, I call it tacking on because I've heard Green Dog also refer to the opposite, which is in this case, we're saying I'm not blitzing, but because my guy's not releasing, now I'm going. I've seen others where it's more like a peel look where I'm blitzing, but then I see the back release. So then I peel with him. Right. So I've heard Green Dog used in both ways. So I, I, I just use the term tacking on to make sure we're, we're, we're speaking the same language. Um, but that's what it means. Very common, uh, it's mostly in cover one situations over 100% of the time in cover one situations, realistically, uh, we're going to add in when, when, when your guy doesn't, doesn't release.